Hey folks, it's Jack and today I'm going to talk about paid add-ons in Blender. Hot ops, box cutter and decal machine are often considered must-have tool in hot surface modeling. But here's the truth nobody tells you. There are actually free alternatives that can do the job and most people never talk about them. So today you're going to learn the darkest truth about add-ons in Blender. Let's go. First, what is an add-on? An add-on is a simple program designed to boost your workflow. Listen carefully. Its main job is to speed up the work. That's it. It's not a magic. It's a tool that makes things easier and faster. Think of it like this. Imagine two guys, A and B. I challenge them to race the finish line. A decides to run. B shows up the motorbike. Who's going to win? Obviously, B. Because he using a tool that multiplies his speed. A will still reach the finish line, but it's going to take more time and energy. And that's exactly what addons does. They don't replace skill. They amplify it and let you to get the same result way faster. Why do you need paid tools? People like me and other experienced creators understand one simple truth. Time is money. We are often juggling multiple important tasks, working on projects, developing add-ons, creating content. So if there is a tool that can speed up the workflow and save me hours, I'll get it. I can use them to hit the gym, improve my add-ons, or making better videos for you. But if you are someone who does not worry about time and your only focus is just modeling for fun and posting it then honestly, you don't need paid tools. So, who actually needs paid add-ons? Well, if you're a beginner, you don't. Don't waste your money on expensive tool right away. It's kind of like this. Imagine a guy who's overweight. He watches a David Goggins video, gets super hyped, joined the gym, and even booked a 5 years membership. But after 3 weeks, he quits. He blamed the circumstances or maybe he never really had the burning desire to get into a shape in the first place. So, it's the same with Blender. If you are just starting out, focusing on the free tools. Collect as many free add-ons as you can, learn the workflow and build real skill. Because here's the truth, add-ons are just speed tools. Once you are comfortable in Blender and you realize you actually want to turn 3D modeling into a passion or even a business, then it's worth investing in paid add-ons. Now, let's talk about how you can get the paid tool features for free. Because, here's the thing, my mega launch course is just going to launch in few days. And yes, I'll be using some paid tools on it. But I don't want that to hold anyone back, whether you own the tools or not. I want everyone to be able to follow along. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the same result using free alternatives. And well, Let's start with one of the most popular tool, Box Cutter. Let's start. So, Box Cutter is a tool that allows you to add instant boolean using three main shapes, rectangle, endgon, and circle. It is fast, it is powerful, but here's the thing. There is actually a free alternative that comes with Blender default. It's called Cover. You can find it right in the Blender extension, just enable it and you got a tool that works very similar for basic boolean operation without spending a single cent. Here, I've installed both tools, box cutter and cover. Now side by side, I want to show you how you can get the same result with free alternatives. Let's start with box cutter. First, you need to enable the box cutter, so Alt plus W which will activate the add-on and by pressing the D key which will show up the menu. So, if I want to add some rectangle cut, I choose from this menu a rectangle and then select my model. Then I just left click and drag my mouse so that I can just build the shape. So this is how you can just add the cut. And once I decided the cut, I left click and click on enter. This will add the instant boolean. So let's see how you can get the same result using cover. Let me undo the step and to activate the cover add-on, you need to press shift, control, x so this will activate the cover add-on 
you can see that a small menu is popped up from the bottom so this menu is very simple and by default the color type is set to rectangle by pressing the space key you can just move to different type of cuts so now let me just choose the rectangle and just like a box cutter you need to left click and drag your mouse it will draw some shape and by pressing the enter oops i think by pressing the space bar which will cut the shape now let's see another type of cuts so let me just activate the menu and this time i'm choosing a circle and i'm gonna select my model then i just left click and drag my mouse this is how you can just add a circle cut or holes in your model hitting the left click it will add the hole. Now let's talk about a few modifications that you need when you're using the cover add-on. So if you're using a box cutter and you just draw some shape like this and hit enter, you'll see that it will add a new collection called cutter and put the cutter inside the collection. So if I click on keeping on this uh, eye icon, I can able to access the cutter. So now I can just move it and I can grab and place it wherever I want so it's really uh, controllable I can just control the cutters but in cover by default you can't access to the cutter but there's an option to do that so at the bottom you'll see that the apply operation is set to on which means that when you draw something and you just perform any cuts it automatically apply the boolean so you don't have the access and it's called a destructive workflow so in order to make it non-destructive workflow, you have to press the Q key, which will turn off the apply operation. Now, when you perform something like cut here, when you click the left mouse button, and you'll see that it will brings up the cutter. Now you can adjust it and move to any collection you want. So this is the one thing that you need to keep in mind when using the cover around. Now it's almost similar. You can have the types of cutters and you have the operations so everything is kind of similar to the box cutter tool and there's actually more features that you get in this tool so if you would like to learn more about this just go to youtube and type cover add-on blender they will teach you many cool stuff about this add-on but for now just understand the basics you also have some option like bevel update so by pressing the a key which will turn off and on the bevel operation i don't know how it works but just experiment with this tool and see how this works. Now, the major drawback I see in this add-on is it actually have no features to projecting the cut onto the model. Let me just show you an example. Press the D menu and choose the cutter type to a rectangle. Now, if I just drag some something like this, you see that the cutter is actually projecting to the model. So that way, I can easily add some cut like this, but in cover add-on you don't have the features so even though if you just enable the add-on Control shift x if you perform any cut it actually not projecting the cut onto the model so this is the one major drawback i see in this cover add-on but there is a solution for that what you can do is press shift a and choose any shape then reshaping it however you want like a rectangle or a square then move it up like this g y like this then what you can do is select this one and select this model then go to the modifier and add a boolean and also there is an instant way to add that by going to the edit menu preferences and search for bool tool so this will allow the boolean operation very quick so what i need to do is select the model then select the one that needs to be cut press ctrl minus on the numpad which will instantly add the boolean so that way you can access to that uh, projecting cut to your model so that's all the things that you need to understand about cover along but there are still many features that you get from box cutter for example if i just add a cut like here like this now have multiple operations are available by pressing some hotkeys for example if i press t key which will apply the solidify modifier and if i press v key which will add array modifier and if I press B key, which will allow us to bevel the cutter. And if I press W, which will wrench operation. And there's uh, many cool stuff that you get from the box cutter. I don't know if it's these cool features are available in cover. Just 
see if there are any available tools like this but still you can also use modifier to get the result next let's talk about machine tool so in machine tool you get many features like when i press the tab key it will show me few menus like if you want to go to the vertex mode edge mode or face mode so if you don't install the machine tool by pressing tab which will directly take you to the edit mode and also there is a few things that you get a uh, benefit by using the machine tool is like when i press the page down key which will help us to bring this menu so this is uh, basically uh, used for setting up the cameras very quick request way and also there's a lot of cool features like cleaning up the mesh so if you got unwanted geo in your mesh by pressing a and selecting the dot key so i just set it to the dot key as a uh, my key to clean up the mesh and also the biggest features i think that the machine tool offers is mirror so let me just show you the my add-on setting so that if you install machine tool it would be really helpful for you to setting up the add-on now in the general setting i enable few things like smart word smart edge smart face cleanup align oh uh, yeah there is a mirror function so i i enable this mirror tool so if you want to access to the key you just go to the key map and find the mirror there it is so for mirror i just set the alt key to alt text just like hot ops so if you would like to change it just click on here and just press any key you want you can also set it to m to mirror it but i like to set it to alt plus x so what will this does is it will instantly mirror it the changes so what i need to do is if i do any changes on the left i just alt plus x and just mirror it like instantly i don't really have to go to the modifier and add the mirror you know it really takes so long and it's also frustrating but yeah I like the fast workflow so if I if I need to do any mirror changes I just click on alt plus x and just mirror it. It's very simple and very useful. So if you like to mirror instantly there is a one tool that's available in edit mode. So go to the mesh and go to symmetry and then choose your axis. So this will allow you to mirror instantly just like we use machine tool but you need to update each time when you do any change. So that is the one major drawback in that. Now let's talk about a uh, decal machine. How you can get those features for free. So if you're using decal machine, you know that decal machine will allows you to add instant detail without uh, modeling anything complex. It's just a plane and it comes with texture in it. And when you're just slapping onto your model, it feels like you just did some complex work, but you're just slapping some few planes on the area. So that is the decal machine. So the one way you can just get those features is by actually modeling using some shapes. So that is the one way you can just get those features and it take a little bit of work. And next, if you want to add some labels or some images and logos, there is a free alternative for you is called image decal add-on. So this add-on allows you to add any images as a decal. So it's very simple. You just need to install the image decal add-on. Once you install it, just press Shift plus A and under the image you get access to uh, new features is called image sticker. So once you choose it, it will just take you to the your file manager and from there you need to choose your image and then slapping onto your model. If you would like to add some text or logos, that is the best option for you. And that's pretty much the tools that we are going to cover in the course. So that's how you can just work with it. So that's all the things that you need to know about paid add-ons but also i'm going to use tools like matrix x which is my own add-on which allows you to add instant imperfection and material to your model but you can still uh, find the materials online so if you install the uh, blender kit i think a uh, blender blender kit i guess it's been so long so i just forgot it so you get the add-on from blender market so once you install the blender tool you can just search for material from right from the blender so you don't really have to go to the internet and just unzip your folder you can just instantly add the material so that is the one way you can just uh, get the result of matrix x but just keep in mind you need to uv and wrap your model that way the texture would be spread evenly so thanks for watching and i'll see you in my mega launch course be prepared